welcome, welcome to Pentecostal Temple Church of God in Christ, where our pastor is Pastor Kellen Brooks. We are praying on tonight, seeking God's face. Uh, please be prayerful with us as we go into the throne of glory. Father, we just thank you. We praise you. We worship you. We give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. None like you, God. And for that, we just want to tell you thank you. We thank you, God, for giving us this avenue that we can pray. We can call on you whenever we are going through. We can call on you. You are a very present help in the time of trouble. And for that, God, we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our health. Thank you for our strength. Thank you, God, for the activity of our limbs. Thank you, God, that we are still here. God, we just want to give your name praise. We want to give your name the glory. We want to give your name the honor. God, we just want to praise you today. Before we ask you for anything, before we beg you for anything, we just want to tell you thank you. We come to bless your name on today. Your word says in Psalms 34, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. God, we're going to praise you. We're going to bless you. We're going to give you glory. No no matter what's going on, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the crisis, regardless of the struggles, God, we are going to give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you today. Hallelujah. Even in your homes, lift up your hands and give God praise. Lift up your hands Hallelujah. and tell God, thank you. Open up your heart unto him. Receive him. Receive his touch on today. Oh, God, we praise you today. And God, before we go any further, God, we repent. Oh, God, if there's anything in our heart not like you, God, we repent on today. God, forgive us of our sin. Wash us in your blood, Lord. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. And God, through faith in your word, we thank you for forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for forgiveness. Thank you for a fresh start on this morning in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. God, give us the strength to forgive those that may have wronged us in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, we thank you now for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. And now, God, as we go forward, God, help us to be led by your spirit and not our flesh in the name of Jesus. God, we're crying out to you. God, we need your help on today. We need your strength. We need your power. We need your might. God, we are crying out to you. Your people are crying out to you. We're crying out to you for help. We're crying out to you for your help. We're crying out, God. Oh, send your love, God. Send your love across this city, across this state, across this nation, God. God, send your love. God, send your power. God, send justice in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we're your people. We're calling out to you in the name of Jesus. Because, God, you are our only help. Your word says you are our glory. You are the lifter up of our head. Lift up the hung down head. Lift up the hung down head. Your name is powerful. There is no other name among the heaven whereby men must be saved other than the name of Jesus. We're calling on you, Jesus. We're calling on your name. We're calling on your authority. We're calling on your power in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the power that flows from your Holy Ghost, that flows from your spirit. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for sending your presence, for sending your spirit to us, to empower us us that we may be witnesses witnesses in the city witnesses in the state witnesses in the country witnesses around the world you gave us this power so that we can be witnesses to the gospel of Jesus Christ and so God we are here crying out hallelujah we are here in Insta Michigan we are here at Pentecostal Temple we are crying out God strengthen us on today hey strengthen us on today in the name of Jesus, uh, strengthen us, God, that we may go forward in the midst of the crisis, in the midst of the injustice. Uh, God, give us strength uh, 
to go forward. Help us not to give up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, help us to see whatever lesson you're trying to teach us. Help us to learn it, God, in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is you're trying to help us to see, help us to see it in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. God, help us to come out of this thing better than when we went in, in the name of Jesus. Help us to come out a better man. Help us to come out a better woman. Help us to come out a better father. Help us to come out a better mother. Help us to come out better children. God, bless our families. Bless our neighborhood in the name of Jesus. Bring about hope. Bring about strength in the name of Jesus. In the midst of the turmoil, we give you praise. God, you have not forgot about us. God, have not forgot about you. God, have not forgot about you, Inkster. God, have not forgot about you, Detroit. God, have not forgot about you, Westland. God, have not forgot about you in Michigan. Hallelujah. God still loves you. God still cares for you. God still wants to come close. God still wants to make himself mighty. God still wants to strengthen you. Oh, glory to God. Open up your heart. Open up your heart, Inkster. Open up your heart, Michigan. Open up your heart, USA. Open up your heart to God. It's time for America to bless God. Hallelujah. It's time for us to bless God in the name of Jesus. God, send your word. Send your power. Send your strength in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Send it in our city, God. Touch on now. Touch downtown in Detroit. Glory to God. The injustices. Touch on tonight, God. Touch as we speak. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Touch God in Minnesota. Yes, Lord. Touch all over the country. Touch in Washington, D.C. Touch in the Senate. Touch in the White House. Touch in Congress. Hallelujah. Touch around the world. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. 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 You are a very present help in the time of trouble. You are a very present help in the time of trouble, in the time of need. God, we're calling calling out to you now and we thank you for being there for us we thank you for giving us another chance we thank you for not giving up on us god we thank you we thank you we thank you god send help and healing to those that are mourning in the name of jesus send healing to those that are mourning god in the name of Jesus, oh, glory to God. Those that have suffered, God, with this COVID-19, those that have lost their life, touch those families, God. Touch those families, God. Send comfort to the families. In the name of Jesus Christ, send comfort, God, to those families where they couldn't be with that family member. They couldn't mourn with that family member. Oh, God, send comfort. God is sending comfort now. God is sending strength now. In the name of Jesus. God is sending help. God continue to send about healing in the name of Jesus. Continue to send about healing those that may have sickness in their body, those that not just suffering from COVID-19, but all type of manner of illness. God, send healing your way. God, send healing unto you today. God, send power today. God, send God send salvation your way. Glory to God. And God will praise you. We thank you. God as cars ride by. As folk walk by and ride by. God help them to feel your presence. Touch them God. Touch them in their homes. Touch, touch, touch. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen God and encourage on today. In the name of Jesus. Touch all the essential workers God. In the name of Jesus. Touch those on the front line. Touch those in the stores. Touch those in the hospitals. In the name of Jesus. Those that went back to work. Touch those essential workers. Everywhere God. In the name of Jesus. Touch even those in the post office. That work for the post office. That's on the front line. Send protection to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh God we praise you. And we magnify you. And we give you the glory. In Jesus name. Glory. Father God we give you glory, honor and praise. We thank you Father for this day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in this day. We thank you, Lord God, for this city 
that you love, this city of Inkster. Father, we pray that your spirit and your presence would be felt. We ask you now in the name of Jesus, God, that you would send your comfort. Lord God, many are burdened this week. Many are heavy these last few months. God, some people feel hopeless. But Lord God, remind your people that the hope that we have is in Jesus Christ. And God, we give you glory. We thank you today that we are not hopeless. We thank you that our hope is in Jesus. And Father God, I pray right now for our nation. God, our nation is grieving. Our nation But Lord God.
of Jesus. That person that's been looking for work, but they can't find any work. God sent a blessing their way in the name of Jesus. Sustain them, God, in the midst of what's going on. In the name of Jesus Christ. God, those on the front lines, continue to touch, continue to protect, continue to move. In the name of Jesus. And God will praise you. And God will magnify you. And God will give you glory. God will give you glory. God we give you glory and we praise you and we glorify you and we tell you thank you thank you Jesus thank you thank you thank you hallelujah hallelujah my heart say yes my will say yes to you God we tell you thank you on today thank you Jesus thank you thank you thank you oh you've been good to us God better to us than we've been to ourselves and for that, God, we want to tell you thank you. For that, God, we want to give you praise. For that, God, we want to give you honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. We lift up your name, God. We lift up the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. A very present help in the time of trouble. Know the name among the heaven whereby men must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your touch. Thank you, Lord. Continue to touch. Yes, Lord. Continue to move in this place, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you for your touch. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your power. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, continue to send help in the midst of the injustice. God, send help. Send justice, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You see what's going on, God. Nothing gets past you. Your word says the eyes of the Lord are in every place. Behold him the evil and the good. God, you see everything. You are a sovereign God. You are a loving God. You are an all-powerful God. And for that, we tell you thank you. Because God, we're trusting in you. The struggle that we're dealing with, God, we know that the struggle is real, but we're still going to give you glory. The struggle is real out here for us, but we're still going to give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise your name. Praise your name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Jesus. And God, we lift up your name today, for there is no other help we know. God, we thank you because you have shown us that you are God and you are yet on the throne. And Father, no matter what comes against us, your word says greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And so, Lord God, I thank you that even the pandemic, Lord God, even the stressors of life, God, we declare, God, that we shall rise above it today. And Father God, I pray right now, God, for that person that is struggling in their emotions. Lord God, that person that's dealing with depression right now, we speak life to them right now. Father God, that person who feels alone. Father God, your word says that you would never leave us nor forsake us. So we know that you are present with us. Your word says the Lord is my shepherd shepherd I shall not want we declare that today God that you are our shepherd we declare today that you are our provider you are Jehovah Jireh you are the Lord that provides I thank you today Lord God for filling us with hope Father God, I think your word says that we don't sorrow as those who don't have hope. Yes, we may weep, we may cry, we may be down, but Lord, I thank you that there is a hope. God, there is a hope that is the anchor for the soul today, and we thank you today, Lord God, for restoring our hope. We thank you today, Lord God, for restoring our peace. Your word says that if we keep our minds stayed on you, that you would keep us in perfect peace peace so i speak perfect peace over every man today i speak perfect peace over every woman today i speak perfect peace every over every boy and every girl today i speak perfect 
peace. Even in the midst of the storm, I speak peace in your home. I speak peace in your relationships. I speak peace in your marriage. I speak peace on your job. I speak peace peace wherever you go wherever you go no ever you go i speak peace over you today and father we give you glory honor and praise for your peace and for every fruit of the spirit to be manifested in our lives your word says for the fruit of the spirit is love and god we ask for your love today for perfect love that cast out all fear thank you god for love for brother love for sister thank you for love for stranger god remove the irrational fear that we have of each other remove the fear that we have of each other afraid to go out afraid to do anything afraid to even leave leave home but God I declare today that there should be no fear for you are with us your rod and your staff comforts us today Lord God there are legitimate reasons to be afraid today but Lord we will not be overcome with the spirit of fear for your word says that you have not given us the spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind so lord god we let peace reverberate through this neighborhood we let your love reverberate through this neighborhood today we thank you for the love that is shed abroad in our hearts we thank you lord god for love unspeakable we thank you god for great love i thank you right now lord jesus for putting love in our hearts taking the stony heart out of our flesh giving us a heart of love we love you lord god and we love this neighborhood and we love this city and we love this country father god and we pray your love to be on us today lord you said by this shall all men know that you're my disciples if you have love one to another so lord god we speak love in the atmosphere today we speak joy in the atmosphere today joy unspeakable and full of glory joy that rises up even when things are coming down on us we thank you right now for the joy of the lord is our strength lord we speak joy today father we thank you for giving us a reason to smile simply because we woke up today simply because we're breathing today we thank you for the joy of the lord you said in your word that the kingdom of god is righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost so we thank you right now for the joy that comes from you lord god we thank you right now for the joy that comes from your presence for in your presence there is the fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore so father i thank you today i bless you today for your joy i thank you right now lord god for joy that comes from salvation lord there is no peace in wickedness there is no joy in wickedness you said that the pleasures of sin are only for a season but God, we thank you right now for joy that comes from knowing you as Lord and Savior. And Lord God, we just pray a prayer of repentance today. Lord God, we don't know who, who can hear us. God, we don't know. God, there may be people in their homes right now. God, their windows may op be open. They may be listening. There may be people driving by that can hear us today. But Lord God, we pray a prayer of repentance today. And if you can hear my voice no matter where you are if you can hear my voice and you don't know jesus christ as lord and savior i want you to say this prayer with me right where you are right in your home right on the porch right in your car just pray lord jesus forgive me for the wrong i've been and the wrong i've done i want to be saved i believe that you died on the cross for my sins I believe that you rose on the third day and Lord I accept you into my heart as my Lord and as my Savior in Jesus name and father we thank you for saving us today we thank you God that the kingdom of God has just expanded today Lord God we don't see who prayed the prayer but Lord you see who prayed the prayer and we rejoice with heaven because your word says that in heaven there is rejoicing over one soul that gives his life to Jesus and so God we rejoice today we give you glory today we praise you today Father God we thank you in Jesus mighty name and Lord God we pray God for those that are watching online Lord there may be some that have listed requests and father god we want to pray for those requests right now in the name of jesus we want to pray right now god for those who may be sick they may be in the hospital room right now we pray for them in the name of jesus 
Lord God, I ask right now that you would touch every single person that is infected with COVID-19. Lord God, every person that has been touched by coronavirus. Lord God, we know many have passed away, but Lord God, we thank you for recovery in Jesus' name. We thank you right now for full recovery in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father God, for full recovery, not partial recovery. Not, I'm not coughing anymore, but my fever's still there. No, God, we thank you right now for full recovery. We speak healing in Jesus' name. We speak healing over every doctor that's been afflicted. We speak healing over every nurse that's been afflicted. We speak healing even over every member of this church that's been touched by it, our friends and our loved ones. Father God, we thank you that by your stripes we are healed. We are healed, Lord Jesus. We thank you for healing from cancer today. Thank you for healing from diabetes today. God, we thank you for healing, Lord God, from diseases of the heart and diseases of the lungs. Father, we thank you today for healing diseases in our bones. God, arthritis pain and, and joint pain, Father God, and ligaments that are messed up. Father, we thank you right now for complete healing. Lord God, I speak healing in the house tonight. God, I know we're outside, but Lord, this is your house. And God, wherever you're present, this becomes the house of God. We speak healing in the house tonight. We come against every addiction tonight. Every addiction tonight. Addiction to alcohol. Addiction to marijuana. Addiction to cigarettes and nicotine. Addictions to sex. Father God, we come against every addiction tonight. We come against a lying spirit tonight. We come against every spirit that is contrary to the power of God. And we speak tonight, your kingdom be established in this city. Your kingdom be established in this neighborhood. Your kingdom be established. We come against every satanic power in this area. And we declare that this is God's house. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. We declare, God bless you, my brother. We declare that Jesus Christ is king. In this area, we thank you right now for coming against the spirit of racism in Jesus' name. We thank you today, Lord God, for unifying our hearts and drawing us together in love. We give you praise for it tonight. God, that we will not hate our brother or hate our sister on the color of their skin. We declare tonight, Lord Jesus, that we will love as Jesus loves unconditionally. Your word says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We thank you for that love today. God, we thank you that you love all nations of people. Your word says that you have by one blood made all nations. And God, we thank you today that we all have the same blood. We all have the same breath of God. We all are made in the image of God. And we declare today, Lord God, love. We declare today, Lord God, breaking down the barriers and breaking down the walls of petitions. For your word says that there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free, neither male nor female. Lord God, but we thank you that we are one in Jesus Christ today. And we give you glory for it, Lord God. We give you honor for it. We give you praise for it. I don't care where you are. I just want you to clap your hands and give God praise today. I want you to give God an applause today. That's right. I want you to give God praise tonight. Hallelujah. God, we praise you. God, we honor you. God, we thank you. God, we bless you. We thank you right now, Lord God. God, I know we've said it already, but God, we thank you for Inkster. We praise you for Inkster, Lord God. We lift up the mayor. We lift up the city council. Lord God, we lift up every pastor in this city. We lift up every worker in this city. Lord God, every civil engineer in this city. Father God, we speak blessings over their life. The Lord bless them and keep them. The Lord make his face to shine upon them. The Lord be gracious to them. Grant them peace. Grant them your shalom. Grant them your wholeness. Grant them your completeness. In Jesus' name. And we give you praise for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to read a scripture. I want to read a scripture. Before I let you go tonight. And I'm just I'm just excited just to be out here. My name is Pastor Kellen Brooks, the pastor of this church right here on the corner, Pentecostal Temple. 
And I want to let you know, if you don't have a church, I'm your new pastor. <laughs> I want to let you know that I'm your new pastor. And you can join us online, ptchurch.net. You can join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash mypttchurch. You can join us on YouTube, youtube.com slash Pentecostal Temple. If you don't know how to spell it, it's right there on the side. I'm your new pastor, and I want to give you a brief word from the Lord, and we'll be done for the night. If you got a Bible, you can download one on your phone. Just go to your app store and put in Bible, and you got a brand new Bible for free right on your phone. I want to read a scripture to you tonight. That scripture, it's a scripture that you're familiar with. It's a scripture that you've heard before. And that scripture is John 3 and 16. I want you to hear this word. I know it by heart, but I just feel compelled to read it to you tonight. John three sixteen. It says, for God so loved the world. God so loved the world. I want to pause right there for a moment. The world. Who is the world? What is the world? When we hear the word world, we think of a planet. We think of Earth. We may think of the trees and the grass and the mountains and the seas. You may think of the sky and the firmament and the sun, moon, the stars. You may think of the, the planets when you think world. And yeah, God does love the world. He does love this planet. But when, when the Bible says that God loves the world, he's talking about people. He's talking about you and he's talking about me. He loves the world. Now, can I tell you something about people? Sometimes we're not the most lovely people. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But have you ever lied to somebody before? Have you ever cheated somebody before? <laughs> have you ever stolen from somebody before? Have you ever thought an evil thought about somebody before? All of us have a long laundry list of things that we have done that were not right. All of those things is what constitutes the world. When the Bible says that God so loved the world, he's talking about he loved sinners. He loved people who did not have the capacity to love him on their own. You know, it's like when you have a child and that child is born, that child has no knowledge of what's going on. That child can't talk. That child can't walk. That child can't feed themselves. That child knows nothing. But even though that child doesn't know anything, something about you as a parent loves that child. Something about you as a parent just lavishes love on them you want to hold them, you want to kiss them, you want to smile at them, you want to you want to cradle them and, and and do whatever you can for them even though they can't even love you back. You love them so much because you gave birth to them because they are a part of you. They're they're made in your image. And can I tell you that the love that you have for a child that that's a reflection of the love that God has for humanity? That just like you love that child who couldn't do anything on their own, they couldn't, they couldn't talk, they, they couldn't think, they couldn't do anything for you. God loves people the same way. But God goes a step further. See, God does not just love the world, but he, he loves folk who are wicked. He loves folk that are evil. He loves everybody. And do you know why? God loves us so much because... We're made in his image. We're his sons and we're his daughters. We are his children. 
and he loves us and and God knows that they could never love me on their own and so I've got to initiate the relationship I've got to pour out to them I've got to extend my hand I've got to extend my love because we couldn't do it in our own power the Bible says that while we were yet weak while we were yet sinners while we were yet ungodly Christ died for us God so loved the world do you know how the world operates the world operates with a strings attached mentality the world says I'll do something for you if you do something for me you scratch my back I'll scratch your back that's how the world operates the world operates like this if 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 you don't like me I don't like you if if you do something to me I'm gonna do something back to you but Jesus shows us a brand new way to behave Jesus says you've heard it said hate your enemies but I say to you love your enemies he said I say to you to bless those that curse you pray for those that hate you do good to those who don't like you that's what God did for you and me you see without the love of Jesus Christ we would be hopeless we would not only be hopeless in this world but we'd be hopeless in the next world because I want to let you know that there is a world after this there is a time after this we will live after we die but God knew that if I don't send my son to die for their sins if I don't send my son to cleanse them of unrighteousness then they will die and be separated from me for all eternity that's right without the love of Jesus Christ and the opportunity to be saved from our sins we would live an eternity without God an eternity without God is called hell I know we don't like to talk about hell but we can't talk about the good without talking about the bad we can't talk about heaven without talking about hell there is a real hell there is a hell there is a life separated from God for eternity people think that hell is right now I want to tell you that the problems and the pain that we're going through right now cannot compare to hell hell is an eternity away from God hell is an eternity and eternity means forever an eternity of pain an eternity of sorrow an eternity of stress an eternity of no peace and no love that is hell now you may say well you know what I, I don't I don't believe in hell I don't believe in hell I don't I don't think that a loving God would send anybody to hell I, I, I don't I don't believe that well can I take you to a a time not too long ago can I take you to last Monday last Monday when there was a man named George Floyd who was lying face down in the ground with the the knee of an officer pinned in his neck gasping for air crying out for his mother who was already deceased saying that I can't breathe you've seen the video I've seen the video our hearts have been almost ripped out of our chest just by watching it and do you know what the response has been the response has been people crying out the response has been people protesting the response has been all over the world people taken to their social media people taken to their platforms people taken to the news stations to express their disdain for what has happened and do you know what people are crying out for they're crying out for justice they're crying out they're saying what happened was not right and there needs to be justice why because we said what was done was wrong and somebody must pay can I tell you that it's the same thing with God no you may not have killed anybody but you were born in sin and because of sin sin demands justice 
and hell is justice for sin. But Jesus is saying that you don't have to die in your sin. You don't have to go to hell. He says that you can have an eternity with my father. And so what does he do? He pays for your sin. There was a jail sentence with your name on it called hell. But Jesus says, I love you so much that I'm going to pay the price for you. I love you so much that I am going to pay your sentence. I'm going to go to hell for you. And that's what Jesus did. He died on the cross. And the Bible says that he descended into the lower parts. But Jesus did not stay there. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. This Jesus God raised up on the third day. Jesus rose from the grave with all power in his hands and he nailed all of our sins to the cross. There's some of you, you've been carrying guilt for many years. There's something you did, something you said, and you feel like, I'm so bad, I can never be forgiven. I'm so bad, I feel like I got to pay for my sins. But Jesus says, I paid for your sins. All you've got to do, do is repent and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and accept him as Savior. And we've prayed the prayer. But I want to pray one more time. I want to pray that prayer one more time over you. You could be watching online. You could be sitting on your porch. I don't care where you are, but we're going to pray the prayer one more time. And that prayer is, Lord Jesus, forgive me for the wrong I've been and the wrong I've done. I want to be saved. I believe you died for my sins. I believe you rose from the dead and because I believe I receive you as my Lord and Savior if you prayed it and you believe it I want to tell you that you are saved you are a part of the kingdom of God and Father God we praise you tonight we thank you Lord for the time of prayer we thank you God for the gospel being preached we thank you for the kingdom being expanded in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. And amen. God bless all of you. God bless all of you.